I'm Perry Erickson. Here we are in Midtown, New York City. We are on 65th Street between Park and Madison. We're here to visit Aquavit, the two-star Michelin restaurant, and meet with executive chef Emma Bengtsson. Chef Emma took over as an executive chef in spring 2014. With respect to tradition, she's cooking modern Scandinavian cuisine with a twist of new techniques and local produce. Let's meet Emma and her team and hear what she has to say about her new way of taking care of the cornerstones of Scandinavian's 500-year-old culinary traditions. Uh, so here we are with the, the Swedish chef uh, Emma Bengtsson uh, at the restaurant Aquavit. Tell me a little bit about the background and how you got into food in the first place. My background, it, it started with my grandmother. Um, she, she was a cook growing up herself and um, it was always a family tradition to uh, spend dinners together. Uh, my mom is also a really good cook. So um, it was the, the harmony and the, the feeling of always um, having the, the quality of the, the food. Everything was always cooked in the house. It was a, a lot of love going into everything. Mm -hmm. What was it that you were interested in? Was it the cooking or the produce? Or? From the beginning it was the eating, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the, just the, um, um, the different flavors and uh, what you could do with things. Um, and after that it, it turned into uh, I'm more of a pastry. Um, I got to uh, um, source uh, rhubarbs and apples and, and different kind of fruits from uh, the backyard and turn them into cakes and pies, um, especially rhubarb crumble, uh, big favorite every summer. Yeah, yeah. So I think that was the whole thing that started it and then when I got a little bit older um, the food came back a little bit more and that um, that interest got me into a culinary school. How would you define taste? Everyone has their own uh, flavor profile, how they, they like things. Um, I'm very intrigued with uh, keeping flavors to where um, highlighting the, the produce in itself and maybe just work uh, a lot with uh, salt, sour, bitter. It's the salt that that really has me uh, going when it comes to creating dishes. Taste is something very personal as you say uh, and taste is also have to do with culture. Yes. And, and Aquavit is a is it a Swedish restaurant, Scandinavian restaurant, or is it a really good restaurant in New York? The, the profile is a Swedish restaurant. Um, it's mostly known for Scandinavian restaurant, but we are also in, in New York, so we gotta work with uh, what we have here. Um, I try and do um, the, the food is a uh, from what I know from Sweden, so it reflects it from that, but a lot of the produce, or most of the produce are coming from New York and local farmers here, so you gotta think a little bit differently than what I would have done if I were home in Sweden. So now you were awarded two Michelin stars, congratulations to Thank that. You. Uh, what is it that drives them to give you the stars? You, you never really know. You can try and figure it out. I can only think for myself that it's it's very pure. Um, the flavors are um, understandable. Um, the consistency is uh, high every day. Um, it shouldn't matter if it's a slow Monday or a busy Saturday. Every customer should always get the same quality and consistency coming out. So I think that's something that is really um, important for us. And uh, I think that's what shines through. So now you are the first Swedish female chef that got two Michelin stars. 
Is that important to you? It's a huge honor, and I'm very happy and grateful to be um, one of the female chefs that and are at my level. And I feel like it's also very important to uh, to be out there, to be a, a role model for for young women coming up into the industry. But most and all, I'm just a chef like everyone else. It, it, in the kitchen, it doesn't matter if you are a woman or a man. It's uh, having two stars. It's an honor for all of us. If you were to explain your profile when it comes to food for somebody that's never been here, how would you do that? I try not overcomplicate things, uh, keep the flavors pure, um, understandable. Um, what you see on the plate, you should be able to figure out in a way what it is. Um, I work a lot with my, uh, my memories from my childhood. Um, a lot of food that I grew up eating and then transform that into a more grown up uh, fine dining experience. So now you got your two Michelin stars in the big city of New York, in the Big Apple. Where will you go from now? I'm not heading anywhere. I'm, I'm very happy and excited for where I am today. And um, I'm taking every day as it comes. And um, if, when the future comes, the future comes. But right now, I'm very happy where I am. If you were to give a young person that wants to become a chef an advice, what would that be? To never stop trying. Um, you have a goal, you want to reach it, and not every day might go the way you want it, but you got to keep on trying. Never, never stop trying.